engines on the back control as well all work really hard. A scrub had recently discovered the peel got driven is being restored and many engines are working hard to help with the construction. Jack and Pack were cold too. Working harder than ever. Come on Jack, we need to work hard. If we want to get this done right. And where does this go, Jack? Tell you, just put it over onto the truck. Whiff will take it later. Right. Oh, hi. I'll just be taking this through. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got. I got another load of pack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and but James didn't like the uh, but James didn't like the idea. He thought it was a waste of time. What do I have to spend more time shunting flop bids? I have to take my I have to take time out of my day to shunt stupid flop bids for this disgraceful line. What are we doing? Restoring an electrical line? Who needs that? James had to shunt one foggy day. James had to shunt flat beds and onto the right, onto the yard. James could hardly see, and neither could signal man. So, so, James, so James. Pushing the cars, he would whistle once the sing, once the signal was once was ready. He was very cross though, and the sing, and with the and with the fog, there was an accident. Signal man was focusing on that. When whiff whistle. So you change the point right when James is going over them. Now the one of the flatbeds, now some of the flatbeds were going two lines. And they hit a signal and it fell to the ground. James was very embarrassed. Wolf came. Huh. You have the two flatbeds for the break, breakdown train. I guess uh, one of the pack members or Butch will have to take you up. Maybe even Harvey. Butch. Quickly came. Oh, look at the accident, James. It was all with fault. Hey, it was the one that that blew the whistle. James, I'm already in trouble. You don't have to start making up lies. James was very cross. He fog was now gone. And they quickly buffered up to the flatbeds and shunted them out of the way. Even though they were damaged. 
James was very rude to him in the sheds. James just crossed, but he was complaining to the other engines about what with just an old stinky pile of rubbish. Why is he even on this railway? It's an old rust bucket. And also, why do we need another tank engine? We already have Thomas, Percy, Arthur, and others. We have a lot of tank engines. We don't need another one, let alone that one. We already have a big tank engine. James. James. You know, it's just a really bad... James! <laughs> what did it work? Stop it now! Oh, fine. And go to bed. Wick could have heard everything. It was in the old shed. He was a very sad. James had to take trucks from Vickers Town down to Peel. Although he wasn't paying attention, he was paying attention to the hill right after Crovin's Gate Station. But one of the trucks rolled, started to creak, and creak. Its brakes slipped on, and and it stayed on, and, and it started falling and with the other trucks too. On the hill, James had a notice though. Frozen skate was right before Peel, and then the and with the trucks rolling down the hill, James and James not noticing. Up ahead, there was a munitions factory.